What's up everybody? In today's vlog, we're doing a ton of Christmas stuff. I can't tell you too much because we have to surprise you when we draw it out of the stocking, but let's just say things are gonna get a little bit warmer. And number two, Dal and I are like literally out of food. We made a huge, huge shipped order. If you don't know, you order your groceries from this app called Shipped and they deliver them to your house. Anyways, we did that. Like literally a truckload of food, not like a semi truck, but a smaller truck is coming to our house. While we're doing our fun activities, the shoppers are shopping and they are getting home as soon as we get home for a mega grocery haul. Let's start the vlog. Build a big little life. Hello, Nina. Ready? Um. Oh, that's yummy. Is that good? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Okay. It's that time of day. We're starting this vlog early so that we get it done before 10 o'clock today. We are determined. Because yesterday we started at like eight at night and didn't finish. So we missed a day of Vlogmas, but it won't happen again. Okay? Because okay. we're drawing it right now. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. You wanna what? do it? I always do it. You do it. Well, I did do the other one. Plus I just like looking at jeans. Oh, I wrote this one. Did you? Is it a good one? Yeah. <laughs> You've told me about this. I haven't even been there. In summer. Go swimming in Provo Aquatic Center, the one you told me about. Oh, okay guys, this one's a big one. So like 30 minutes away is a town called Provo. It's actually where I went to college and where I first met Dallin. And they just built this humongo like palace of an aquatic center. It has like an indoor kid zone. It has a lazy river. It has like the most awesome looking water area for kids. We're gonna do that. So and as I speak, things are coming to mind and what? I need like a bell. Let's eat dinner there. <gasps> okay. If you know us, you know we love eating out and we don't <laughs> do it a ton because we're trying to be frugal. Trying. But this place, so. We could go where we ate for EFY. Oh yeah, okay, so EFY was the camp where we met as counselors of a youth camp. Anyways, they built like these new dorms there and there's a student eating place called the Cannon Center. It is prime. It's a level above. This is a good day. Oh, I even worked there for like three weeks before I quit because it sucked. Not the food? Not the food. Good. This is getting me too excited and I can't eat any of these things. Do you guys want to see my meal plan? I bought an actual meal plan designed for me and this is what I'm eating. I mean, I could have told you this. Eat chicken and only chicken. We have, it's broken down to my exact caloric needs. I got five meals a day. See, these are my macros. 1,991 calories, 195 proteins, 213 grams of carbs, 42 grams of fat. That's it. It's basically bananas, fruit, vegetables, cottage cheese, and chicken. I'll show you 42 grams of fat. Woo woo! I don't think so. I'll show you 42 grams of hotness. Let's go! Say, let's go. Cheese. <laughs> we, he's got that down now after we're taking two different sessions of family photos. He understands the cheese. Let's go! Okay, guys, we made it. It's humongo. I am excited. Check out this slide. The babies. You know? Look at the babies. Hi, you did so good on that long drive. Let's go swimming. Okay, George is past. Out. Okay, so we're just gonna go in, get our suits on. I want to give you a little tour because this place is awesome. I don't know if we're gonna go swimming Tell or play about. on like the sports area first. Look at this kid. He didn't nap today. I'm glad he napped on this drive. Oh, hello. Oh, hi, George. She's so excited to be out of the car. We're swimming. We're here to go swimming. You ready to go swimming, bud? Mm. What? Okay. Look in there. <gasps> Whoa. We're so excited to show you guys this place. Check this out. This is just the city rec center. This is tax dollars at work. Whoa. <laughs> this pool is lit. Check it out, Georgie. Look at that swimming pool. Bird, should we go swimming? Turns out there's a hot tub right there. They all just thought I was filming yeah. them in the hot tub. Kind of weird. Oh my gosh, we're in the family locker room. We thought it'd be a good time to do a family swimsuit reveal. Okay, here's Georgie's swimsuit. He's he's like long past ready to get in the pool. Here's Dallin's swimsuit. Okay, here, take the camera. First look. Looking good. And a James swimsuit reveal. Hi, baby. And she's just borrowing George's stuff. Oh, 
Virgie, let's go up there. Okay, my Georgie, we're gonna go down this slide and see mom. Ready? Okay. <laughs> fun watching which is which is what I like to do huh Thanks likes the bubbles let's do it wait one more time Georgie come through the bubbles one more time the bubbles. okay Although I have an iPhone 10, I'm still a little freaked out about having my phone in the water. So we're gonna cut to this restaurant. Ashley's gonna show you the horrible clothes that she used to wear when she worked at the college restaurant. They were pretty good. Okay, as you can see, we're done swimming. We just came out of the pool into this crazy, like, better than McDonald's area. Like, oh, that's not hard. <laughs> no, like the play area, look. Is George up there? Where is he? Up there. Somehow I need to find a way to get this in my house. And then I'll never have to go outside during the winter. Like, ever. Did you find it, George? Oh, is that piece in there? How do you get it out? We're at dinner. It's called, it's this place called the Cannon Center, and it's this huge, mega student buffet. Dallin and I had some very cute memories here. We do. This is where we met. I used to work here. This is BYU campus, by the way. So, I... you've never heard of BYU. This is it. I used to work here and keep an eye out for the uniforms because they are terrible and I hated them and I wanted to die every time I had Why? to work. But here's the crazy thing, y'all. While we are eating right now, our grocery shopper from Shipt is shopping for this mega butt huge order. Like we have been, we're out of food, like totally empty. So we spent a lot of money because this is our food for like the next two to three weeks. Like it's, it's a lot. It's all coming today. And it's all coming as soon as we get home and we're gonna do it. We have two shipped orders at the same time. Yeah. They're out there doing our bidding as we speak. We had people go to Target <laughs> and we had people go to Smith's. And they're all just gonna show up and have a big grocery haul party when we get home. Yeah, as soon as we get home, they're gonna arrive. Right now we're eating. James is crying. Dallin's gonna get something healthy. Let's all encourage him to not get macaroni. Oh, this is like a buffet. <laughs> This is gonna be hard. This is a real test of my endurance, which I failed at for 27 years. Okay, here it is, student center. This feels weird being on a college campus. It's just weird. He just wants the yummy orange juice. Fun fact, BYU has won the Stone Cold Sober Award by, by I don't know, ESPN or something, like every year for the past 20 years. <laughs> okay, we're just finishing dinner. Correction, Dallin and I eat dinner. George mostly just cried on the floor. But guys, this right here, this one, not this one, not that one, that one, is a mint chocolate chip brownie. It's like legit one of my most, 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 most favorite desserts. It is so good. And when I worked here, I ate a thousand, and I was larger than I am now. But I'm gonna link the recipe below if any of you want to try it. It's so good. We over here. Yes, I wore that hat, and yes, I wore those huge, amount, enormous clown pants. You wouldn't have dated me if you saw me in those. Of course I would, sweetie. You wouldn't. Of it was. I would. It was bad. Well, we're in the car again. That was just a lot. George cried most of the time, and it just. It's hard to take them places, especially places that are like nostalgic to me and places that I know are so fun, like without kids. Like in my mind the whole time it's playing like what could be happening if we were just on like a Dallin Ashley date versus like what reality is. And it's just, one of my goals is to kind of turn off that side of my brain that's like, oh, if the kids weren't here, you could do this and this and this. It's hard. It's really hard though to turn that off, but that's one of my goals. I've resisted it for four years. Well, two years. <laughs> Only had kids Dallin's. It feels like it's a lot longer. I, I think like the whole having kids thing has been harder for Dallin as far as like you can't let saying yourself, goodbye to all personal freedoms. You can't let yourself think about what it would be like if kids weren't there. Yeah, that's our new goal. And because it's just not the reality. It's like the new normal. That's what, what's his name? Larry uh, Gilwix. Larry Gilwix. He's coach, making this up. Oh. Larry Gilwix, <laughs> coach of the uh, rugby football team. Highland. A coach, a prominent he said coach. You gotta, he's like the new normal. This is the new normal. Like next play mentality, you know? Don't, don't, 
right. think about what happened, what went wrong, or what could have been different. Just like next play, this is the new normal now. So, so like, we're accept the new normal and go out and make every day your masterpiece. And, the and hard, that is easy to say and hard to do. The hard part about kids is that you get a new normal like every three months when a new part of their brain turns on. And they're like, and it just throws you through a loop. So we're excited right now around this time every day we start getting all antsy because it's like hey one more hour till bedtime it's bad and good like you should look forward to like we are oh we are we're time. looking forward to bedtime so like two more hours till bedtime realistically three or four but i'm gonna tell myself two and we're gonna get all of our groceries they're both we got the alerts that they just started shopping they're both out shopping for us and isn't that fun it's so fun <laughs> And we're gonna so, just, it's like, it's like a Christmas a delivery of, of an entire grocery store. For real. First and we got a month. ton of like new things for our new healthy menus. Most yeah. excited for my Smurfy ingredients. I did good at dinner. I only ate a salad. Oh yeah. Update. A little on. bit of cake, a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> no, it was Ashley's, not mine. I just had one bite. Doesn't matter who gets it. I'm saying I didn't get my own cake. Is it I in just your had belly, one though? bite of yours. <laughs> one small bite. Right, he did really great. Healthy it's, boy. It's just so, it's like, it's the stupidest thing, but my brain tells me like that I'm gonna die if I don't eat, you know? I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. There's a saying, Stephen Covey, he says, like, like until you are your own master, you can never be, you have to master yourself before you can serve God fully, you know? If you still have like personal vices or or think like you're not totally the master over yourself, then you can't fully give of yourself to others because there are things holding you back. And so Dallin's eating master. whatever the heck I want is the last thing that I need to master. Well, I mean, I'm not perfect, but <laughs> Dallin it's like will the big, literally be a perfect. I will human. literally be a perfect human once I <laughs> eat healthier. No. no, but it's like the big thing. This is our first of many bags to come from ship today. Okay, hey, thanks, you as well. See you Bye. later. Yeah, you too. Well, it's everything. <laughs> okay, Ashley's up bathing George. She's gonna come down momentarily and she will give you guys a thorough overview of our grocery haul from ship. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is haul number one. This was just the small one from Target. You guys, we haven't gone shopping in like weeks, so we needed so much stuff. The shopper that we went to Smith's for should be here any second now, and the haul will continue. All right, Smith's one's here. There's tons of bags. Where do you want me to put them all? Yeah, these nice. They're for the girls. She was like, okay, there's a lot of bags. Where do you want them? <laughs> Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Or the we go. I think she's like halfway done. Baby, we finally got you some food. We waited way too long. Way too long. Huh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. Luna hates shipped, by the way. She growls at him every time. It's never the same person. Well, we had one guy, Devin. He hasn't come for a while. She finally got used to Devin, I think. And now it's just all these people that she doesn't know and she growls at. Good girl, Luna. You guard our house. Good girl. Five. So the kids slept the whole way home and totally defeating the purpose of the pool time. It's a super bummer that they are not sleeping in their bed right now. James is more energized than ever. George is ready to go till 10 o'clock. I'm one of those people who hates swimming, but I go because it makes my kids so tired. But they napped in the car on the way home, so. It's like second day right now. But it's a good thing for you guys because grocery hauls with George are way cuter than grocery hauls with just me and Dallin. All right, two hours later, James is finally asleep and a lot of the food is put away so it didn't grow bacterial fungus on it. Okay, but we still have, we'll show you inside the fridge, but we, George is, George is ready. Ready, George? Hey, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Pretzels? They look like yummy pretzels, right? Good job, okay, Georgie. Okay, ready for the next one? Flour. Well, that was short-lived. You just gonna eat some yummy pretzels? Go away, frog. Go away, frog. Okay, I'll George. just show you guys. We have George, a mountain that? of diapers. Mountain. Ellen likes these baby dry ones. I think they're supposed to be the best. You did good. 
Oh, wait, I thought, did we order that? Yes, I did, because it's chocolate that's also supposed to be kind of healthy. Here you go. First piece of our healthy meal, chocolate. I got these for tomato sandwiches. My mom makes heavenly ones. Lots of eggs. I am using the Pioneer Woman's Cookbook. I'll link it below, but she has some really cool breakfast recipes, like breakfast hash, full of like really good things with eggs on top, and I'm excited to try it. Onions, lots of fruit, cantaloupe, this is like the third gum I've seen. Dallin sneaks in gum everywhere. Goody sauce, rice, unsweetened coconut flakes. That vegan cookbook I got puts the coconut flakes in a lot of smoothie bowls, so she just eats the smoothie with a spoon, I guess. I'm not really positive, and she sprinkles coconut on top. Ugh. That's the worst dessert I've ever had. 86% cocoa, baby. Dallin's supposed to be eating a lot of berries and bananas for his meal plan. Peppers for lots of stir fries, cilantro, we're gonna be making tacos, yummy grapes. These are for graham cracker houses. Ooh, fancy, Dow. we never buy pre-cooked stuff. I got quinoa and brown rice packs. Dallin's used to all the fancy stuff at his work, but now that he doesn't go to work anymore, he's gonna bring the fancy to our house. More coconut flakes, mayonnaise, tomatoes, and the squash. Lots of cheese. Slim diapers, never going swimming again. Mm, we probably will, I just am freezing and I wanna get in the bathtub right now. Lots of chicken broth. I like to have the ingredients for soup on the ready. Say that in a bridge accent. On the ready. If you guys didn't know this from last year, Ashley is the queen of soup during the winter. I mean, she's good. Yeah. I'm gonna be making butternut squash soup really soon. A heck ton of this. Oh, dolly has got a little baby jar. Oh no, these are roasted red peppers. I didn't order that, did you? Yeah, I did. We tried this time just like planning out meals, like some breakfast things, some lunch things, and then some really fun dinners. So these are all ingredients. This is my one true love, right here. You get this for George. I've been inspired to try passion fruit from the Great British Baking Show, so we have that. And my milk. We have three different milks. George's milk, my milk, Ashley's milk. Orange juice is my milk. Berries. We have all of our berry mixes, frozen avocado, chicken nuggets, frozen mango. Uh-oh, but don't show George. George's special packles. We are literally prepared for everything. I was wondering if you wanted to go out to dinner tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, everybody. It's funny because we just bought a bunch of food. That's why that was a funny joke. Um, I'm really tired, and as the day goes on, I get more and more zits on my face, so we're going to close this vlog out now, and Gosh, I'm going to... nobody cares about your zits. I do. Everybody has zits in one place or another. <laughs> I have a zit on my butt where that wax stayed on there for five days. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> you guys know too much about my butt. It's hard to know it's, for sure. It's gone. I'll show you later if you want me to. Okay, well, we're gonna, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope see ya. Ooh, oh, oh.